thank you for joining us on the show, Sanford. Thank you. Great to have you here. Welcome uh, to Baltimore. Man, let me tell you, Baltimore, DMV, is such a warm city. It's just a loving city. Thank you. And I love it here. And uh, it was great meeting you. Um, you took me in like family. Like I'm a, uh, As soon as I mentioned Stokey, you're like, oh, oh. boys. <laughs> you, you can come in anyway. Man, so talk to us about this lovely cigar shop that you have here. Uh, well, it's Cross Street Tobacco. We've been around for about 20 years now. 20 years? 20 years in the same location. Same location, 20 years. So that makes you the oldest? In Baltimore City. The oldest cigar lounge in Baltimore City. That's correct. Awesome. Awesome. And I see you have some, um, some characters here in your, your shop. Well, like any cigar lounge, the uh, customers make the lounge. You have all sorts of people, you have blue collar people, you have white collar people, but when they come in, everybody's like a family. Everyone's family. It, it doesn't matter what you do, where you came from, it's all one big family. Sanford, let me, let me thank you. Let me thank you so much, man, for allowing Stogie TV to come into your shop. No problem, thank you. And uh, to come in and have a good time and Anytime you're in Baltimore. your business. I, I tell you what, I'm coming back. Thank you. I'm thank coming you. back, not only to film. I mean, I'm coming back to relax. This place, I've done a lot of filming at a lot of cigar shops, and I tell you that this shop here is relaxation. Been, been coming here since the store opened when Sheldon first opened it. Used to be across the street. Been coming here practically every day. If I had the money I spent on cigars, I'd be a rich man. <laughs> yeah, I've been here for about 14 years and I was coming here as a customer. I used to come in and it was a little intimidating at first because I didn't know anything about cigars. So I was like, the guys were like, sit down, have a drink. And I'm like, no, you're going to ask me questions and I don't know anything. So. For like four years, I just came in and out, get cigars, go to the bar, because we could smoke in the bars down here at that point. And then one day, you know, a mutual friend of ours got me to sit down, and and then I, eventually I didn't want to leave. So I was sitting here hours and hours and hours, and you know, coming here every day. And though I've been to other shops, pretty much all the shops in Maryland probably, um, this one's the most like home, you know. It's a diverse group of people, you don't never know who you could be talking to. It could be the police commissioner or, you know, uh, Al Sharpton comes in here, football players, um, you know. So Rudy Giuliani was here Giuliani, one time. Giuliani, you know, we got a lot of famous people. The, come most, uh, the most interesting man in the world, the second guy, he was here one day. Yeah, we got, we got a lot, we of, a lot of people. people. Plus the regular people who live here and walk through and people come from all over. So you don't know who you're talking to when you're having a conversation, having a cigar. And, and it breaks down all the barriers, which is great. So... Yes, Cross Street Tobacco is one of the famous all-around smoke cigar spots here in Baltimore. This place originates back in early as I can remember. You know, my grandfather, my father would come here and smoke cigars and pipe tobacco. And once I got turned on about 15 years ago, uh, this became a beautiful place. It actually became my home. This is one of the best environments of where you can come and you meet politicians, doctors, lawyers. You know, trash truck drivers, just the regular city street folks. And, you know, you sit down and you, 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 you sit back and have some jokes, laughs, and giggles. And, you know, you network through knowing what their opportunity is and their business opportunity. And you learn a lot from them. And I guarantee if you didn't come in with a friend, you left with five friends. 